Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Creators Podcast. My name is Nigel Lozane and I am a film director from Zimbabwe. And this is the very first episode of our... Uh, yeah, this is the very first episode of the Creators Podcast. And today we are talking about the future of Instagram. As we may know, most of us spend uh, most of our time on Instagram. And yeah, I've been seeing a lot of creators posting on Instagram lately with in very creative ways. And now today we talk about the future of Instagram. So we start off the session with Canada. Now, Instagram has put this certain rule that is now that has now started to work in Canada, whereby you can't see the number of likes um, on a person's post. I don't know if you guys agree with it, but I think I do. I actually think I do agree with it, whereby you will a person cannot see the number of likes on another person's post, which is very, very smarter because I think people were starting to take um, Instagram for granted because some people only do it for likes. Some people um, have been buying likes. Some people have been, you know, buying followers on Instagram and Canada is at that point now where you can't see a person's number of likes and also instagram has announced it in the united states of america that it will be doing the same thing now do you guys agree with that or do you say that um you want to you want the likes to remain so i'm not pretty sure if instagram is going to be doing it to the whole world but i think it would be great actually why because Instagram has been taken for granted. It is now a platform where people are only looking for the number of likes, but rather it's made for you to post content that 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 outputs your personality. So talk of that for the past years I've seen a lot of creators um well the most popping pages on Instagram right now are photography pages. We look at um Filmmakers, actually, not saying that because I am a filmmaker, but right now we have the most popping pages um, being in the film industry, um, photography, and, you know, brands are just creators. YouTube creators actually have been popping on Instagram lately and doing quite well. Now, is instagram with this rule that instagram has put in the united states and canada well it, it's already started working in canada i think that the reason why i support this is because that is because of people having to be taking instagram for granted you know what i'm saying because as i mentioned before people are buying stuff buying likes and what what but we look at instagram and i see it as a platform where you can express yourself express your creativity express your content and express what you do man it's it's quite amazing what you can do with it and people now you find people not doing that but using it actually for bling so you look at the difference between a creator's instagram account and a model's not 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 exactly not models but a person who fakes um, his or her life on Instagram. They're two different things. One is doing it for creation purpose and for marketing himself. And one is doing it for marketing the, the, the wealth of themselves. So I believe that by doing this, by removing the number of likes from a person's post, well, by not seeing that, it gives people a very open perspective of their concentration, you know, to to the content, to the creation, to who the person is, and forget about um this guy liked this post, um this person was liked by this guy, um this guy what what I think it was actually smarter removing those likes from the posts and just seeing the post itself and expression. So yeah, it's Instagram. It's meant for and. Is, is that Instagram, um, for those of you guys who didn't know, it actually means instant gram. Yeah, it's basically instant gram. So Instagram is a place where you actually share 
you 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 express yourself you know as a creator or as as yeah basically as a creator in what you love doing you know what i'm saying and yeah now the other thing we want to move on is where is instagram going now that um we just finished 2019 and we are about to we are now in 2020 and um where is the future of instagram going because um people have been asking me especially on what's going to happen in 2020 what's going to be new what's going to be happen i i i think that you should stay to your creation right you should stay to 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 your zone because growth on instagram comes with your consistency in what you do so yeah just consistency do do be who you are and in 2020 i think that people are actually going to be more creative especially that um in 2019 we had photographers dominating instagram no lie um we have people like peter mckinnon this is the biggest creators in the world matt como we do have um what's his name uh we do have people like uh mike visuals those are people who are dominating instagram with photography you know and um sam colder and what what so i think now that 2020 is coming it's going to be a challenge because a lot of creators there are now a lot of content creators there are a lot of photographers out there there are a lot of filmmakers out there and i feel like they are instagram has been taken to that point where you you perfect it where it's a it's a portfolio now it looks like a portfolio where it's a portfolio because you go on someone's account um the grid is in order the grid is in order whether it's photography it's in order of the lots it's in order of the seasons and yeah a lot of people have started doing that as well so 2020 i believe it's actually going to be tough for a lot of people who are on instagram for a lot of people who want to grow on instagram to actually be more creative than it was in 2019 so yeah i love that fact i i like that i like that that that, that is going to be a really good challenge in in 2020 man it's going to be crazy and i believe that um it's time for creators to start stepping up their game we look at youtube creators a lot the youtube creators the biggest youtube creators are the ones that are taking over instagram so 2020 is now about that <laughs> the creativity now has to expand i believe and i don't know if you guys agree with me but i think that the creativity now has to expand in 2020 in order for people to have improved content content that is amazing and we also look at um the the the, the instagram issue of verified badges getting verified now a lot of people have been wanting to do this and i mean it's it's have it's have been wanting to get verified it's it's okay to to want to get verified but i feel like a lot of people are now focusing i don't know if you guys feel this as well a lot of people are now focusing on wanting to get verified for the sake of publicity for the sake of being famous for the sake of their names being out there but yeah you see a lot of people they really want to get verified that's why they are acting bougie to get an audience thinking that they will get verified but i think that um well verification is actually meant for people exactly as i was saying serious verification is meant for the blue badge it's meant for serious um not serious exactly but consistent creators that are actually doing something out there who have the content out there already who have an audience who are growing an audience so basically people i've uh, seen people try to request for verified badges with but they reach to 10,000 followers and they're like oh yeah want to request for verify for a verified badge um Oh uh, yeah, I have 20,000 followers so I can request for a verified badge, but it does not work that way. The way it works with getting verified on Instagram, I believe is if you have content that is out there, you have you are a creator that is consistent. 
because for you to get very far on Instagram, you're going to need your your page has to be amazing. Your content has to be very creative. Um, you need to have an actual proper business website. Of which you, yeah, your Instagram has got to be a business a business account. You have to have a business website and a very reasonable bio and articles. I believe you have to have articles online about you, what you do what's your business that explain who you are and that is how you're only able to get a verified badge so i think people should really um stop at the end of the day at the end of the day it's not all about um getting verified badges if you ask me because anybody can um request for a verified badge now on instagram but at the end of the day it's not about that i think it's about you expressing your content getting it out there being creative with your grids being creative with instagram and letting your work flow out there and letting yourself out there and actually knowing that it's 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 very very possible to get an or to attract an audience of what you do if you're doing photography your filmmaker if you do podcasts whatever you do it's very very um nice and enjoyable to actually focus on creating your content. Don't mind about the verification badge. Don't mind the likes. Don't mind just be you, create you, use those hashtags, use those locations. And I think, yeah, you will have a lot of fun instead of focusing on the more of the celebrity side of Instagram. Now, again, moving on, we want to talk about um, another issue I want to talk about is actually um, the Instagram stories and Instagram posts. Now, a lot of people don't know that um, I, I I think that Instagram stories are now more relevant than the post because a lot of people look at the stories. And yeah, I know the posts, um, there's a way that people are posting nowadays where they have agreed. I've said it before, um, just said it a few minutes ago in another, uh, a few minutes ago when I was talking about um, the, 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 the uh, verified badge, but um I think that Instagram stories, they're actually more relevant than the posts. People don't understand that. They think just posting, 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 posting. But people are not realizing the importance of actually Instagram stories or what you can actually do with Instagram stories. Now, um, if you have time, go check out my Instagram. It's at Nigel underscore Lozane and... Yeah, just check out my Instagram stories. But I just want to show you that there is a different way of doing those Instagram stories. If you look at the way um, Sam Calder, we've got Sam Calder, um, Jesse Drifted. Exactly. Let's talk about Jesse Drifted. He is one of the gods in making Instagram stories because um, just go right now. If you're on Instagram right now, type in for Jesse Drifted, J-E-S-S-E, Drifthood. Um that guy has managed to grow an audience just by Instagram stories and not the posts. Why? Because he has mastered the art of creativity in doing that. He does them in a different way. He's a filmmaker. He's a filmmaker. Okay, I'm not saying that because I'm a filmmaker, but Jesse Drifted is a filmmaker who has mastered the art of um, Instagram. He has mastered the art of Instagram stories. So the way he does Instagram stories are actually very, very cool. He takes his stuff before he puts anything on Instagram. He polishes it. He's a Final Cut Pro editor and polishes it in Final Cut Pro. And uh, I'm not sure about Adobe. I know he uses Final Cut. I don't know about you, Jesse Driftwood, but hey, man, if you're hearing this, I know that you're a Final Cut editor. And if you look at his stories, they're so creative to a point where the audience wants to keep on coming back. Now, when someone actually goes to your Instagram page and wants to follow you, the first thing he looks at is, or she looks at is your, your grid. Obviously, they're going to look at your grid, right? And then they're also going to look at your recent story that you would have posted that day. And by them following you, it means that they've loved your content and they know what they're getting into. So it's 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 that which you're looking for, that invitation, welcoming creativity on your page. You know, 
some people can read your bio i've seen bios with a lot bios with a lot of sentences yet all you need is something simple that explains what you do and then your website and then your grid should be looking nice and then your um your story should be very creative in order for people in order for you to start gaining audience again i've had instances where you post something and it's opened by verified people big people why because you are in the same field of the big people who are in the field i've had incidences where i post an instagram story and i've had robot michael who uh actually works for is it cnn or bbc open my stories recently i've had a lot of creators who are verified and how does that happen it's because your bio mentions the same um area of specialization what do i do i do filmmaking what does what do those creators do they do filmmaking and they're the biggest creators in that sector it enables them to actually come and look at your content and actually if they int- and if they are interested in what you do you know they actually look at it and say okay I love what this guy's doing. I love his grade. I love his e. I know what I'm getting myself into. Now I want to see what this guy does. If you have a YouTube channel, the better. Uh yeah, if you're a creator, you know. But yeah, Instagram stories they can be done in a very take your time to actually if you're not a filmmaker, I I actually believe that filmmakers um have well freelance filmmakers, travel filmmakers have learned how to have mastered the art of Instagram like um the guy I was talking to you about, yes, you drifted take he takes his time to actually shoot something if you don't have a camera you can still use a phone a dslr camera but i use my dslr camera to shoot instagram stories no matter where i am with the gorilla part no matter what and then i edit them and then they look neat and they're instant so i can actually edit if you have a phone you can do the same actually you can actually make um what we call cinematic instagram stories which will actually attract a bigger audience you know i'm um, into 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 your uh, onto your page and the content man and yeah so basically on instagram stories that's it take your time to actually edit your instagram stories your pictures should be looking good i've seen a lot of people go into lightroom now and uh before they post anything they actually tweak the pictures a little bit yeah now um touching on the issue of photography on instagram photography um I don't know what do you guys think because a lot of people are taking photos right they take nice photos and then I don't know they go into Lightroom right and actually put tweak the photos so that they look extra good I'm not saying I'm not I'm not opposing that but I'm saying is that what do you what do you guys think about it I think I even do that I go into Lightroom I uh, Let's say I took a really nice photo of me uh, when I was in Delhi or traveling the mountains, uh, I don't know, subway whatever, and then I edited it in Photoshop and in Lightroom and actually create something different from the original photo, the way the original photo was just for it to look nice on Instagram, right? I don't know what you guys agree with that. Do you guys agree with that or do you guys think it's just not real but as for me i think that it's creativity uh actually editing a photo before posting it because it's like people who post um photographers it's now way too good because they use photoshop and they use lightroom but then a regular instagrammer is probably going to use filters and what what and what what and it won't the the built-in filters and it won't look as good as a photo that's been edited in lightroom and then and and photoshop so i don't know do you guys think that is a little bit going too extra should they keep the photos original or should they actually edit it so that it is edit the non existent place so that it is it looks nice on on the you know so that it looks nice on um okay what did i want to say i'm sorry i'm forgetting something on the grid you know on the grid on the stories and what what so i think that uh, for me i think it's okay uh, i call it creativity but i don't know other people so yeah um 
Right, Instagram. Oh uh, yeah, we've been talking about a lot of things. We've talked about verified badges. We've talked, what uh, what else should we talk about on Instagram? I don't know if you guys have any questions. Um, yeah, you can go to my Instagram. It's at Nigel underscore Lozane, and um, ask me in ask me in the comments or whatever or DM ask questions about Instagram. What you want to know about Instagram, but. I think um, 2020, basically, as I'm concluding now on this first episode of the Creators Podcast, my thoughts of Instagram in 2020 is that um, it's going to improve. For some people, it's going to be a downfall now that they're removing the number of, they're removing, seeing the number of likes on a person's post. And... For some people, it's going to be a bonus. For me, I think it's great. I think that's great, man. So that people just strictly focus on the content and, yeah, and not the number of likes. So um, I think that it's, it's, it's good. I think that Instagram in 2020 is actually competition. And I think that a lot, um, yeah, a lot is going to happen. A lot of changes. There are going to be a lot of changes. There are going to be crazy um stunning creative people that will be stepping up the game on instagram and yeah and uh for people in zimbabwe well instagram is a little bit of just you know uh some of them i would say some of them are a little bit of um i don't know if i should call it bougie but i think that um some of them is just a matter of you know, posting their family photos, friends' photos, and what what. It is only um, in the outside industry where Instagram is becoming, in the creators industry, where Instagram is becoming uh, a, a competition and um, a business. Now, Instagram has become a business, you know what I'm saying, um, in, in other countries. So, yeah, I mean, uh, for filmmakers and photographers in 2020, I just wait to see what exactly Instagram will be offering and, yeah, you know, what will be taking part. So, thank you guys for listening to today's podcast, which was all about Instagram, the future of Instagram. Uh, remember to Follow me, follow this podcast, follow me on Spotify, iTunes, subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, and you can subscribe to it every year on any other platform, it will be out there, and also remember to subscribe to my channel and Nigel Lozani, because 2020 I will be traveling a lot and releasing a lot of film making content, especially a lot of travel films, so yeah um thank you very much for listening to this podcast i remember to follow me on instagram at nigel underscore lozane and subscribe to my youtube channel and uh yeah spotify wherever you're listening from right now you know what just subscribe do whatever you do do whatever you want do whatever you want punch that subscribe button on itunes um follow me on spotify on deezer whatever tito if you're listening right now just do whatever you want to Make sure you join me in for the next podcast. We are going to be having different guests on this podcast and it's going to be amazing. But in 2020, um, right now, uh, I'm not really set up as yet. But in 2020, we will actually have the Creators Podcast YouTube channel where we will be um, actually recording live because I am uh, moving to Europe or Asia soon. So we'll be recording all the podcasts and they will actually be on YouTube and we'll also have the audio as well. And we'll have different guests from all over the world, um, creators, because it is a creators podcast.